Welcome back to another vlog. So I am currently in my bathroom. I feel like every vlog I start, I'm always in my bathroom. Today we're in my bathroom because I am going to have a little self-care time. I just put the kids down for their quiet time and I'm going to do like a little me time. I told you guys in my yesterday's vlog, I needed to tint my brows. So I'm going to do that and show you guys um, how I do it and I try to tint my brows like at least once a week if not every other week my brows are super light and um, when I tint them I don't have to fill them in every day and it saves me time when I do my makeup so I'll show you guys how I tint my brows it's super easy you can do it at home I'm also going to do like a little mask time um, because my chin I have like a little pimple thing going on on my chin so i wanted to do like a little mask um and then i also have some new skin products that i want to try out and also you guys i really want to do my nails so i'm going to show you how i do my nails as well so we're going to have like a little pamper self-care moment hopefully my kids take a nap so i can do this in peace but Either way, we're gonna get started. I get this tinting kit from Amazon and I'll link it down below for you guys, but it lasts me like very long time. And I don't use, so it basically comes in like, the powder comes in like little capsules and I don't use the whole capsule. I literally just open it and use maybe half of what's inside. Then I just, close it back up and save it for next time after i do that i'm going to put this developer in and again i just use the smallest amount here's what it looks like once it's all mixed together so now i'm going to wipe the end of the brush and i'm literally just going to take the smallest amount and go over my brow and you don't want too much of this product on just like really lightly go over your brow and then you can always just take a little q-tip and fix wherever you need to like that now both of my brows are filled and i'm going to let them sit for about five minutes you can do anywhere between like three to five minutes i wouldn't go past the five minute mark because your brows were literally are going to be dark so we're just gonna do like five five minutes we'll see um and while my brows are settling in i'm going to do like a little face mask this is what i have recently been using and i'm gonna go ahead apply this i also like to use this spatula applicator um just because it makes everything look so much easier and you don't have to get your hands dirty and it just makes your life easier so i'm just going to apply this all over my face you guys it looks like i'm going to like shave or something <laughs> i'll apply some on my nose and it's really nice to use this because it gets like literally in every little area can't forget about the forehead now we have a face mask on i know i look crazy but we're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes i also have like two more minutes left for my brows and i'm going to let everything cook and then i'll be right back to um start wiping my brows off because i don't want them to get too dark all right guys i am back i'm going to wipe down my brows and i'm just going to use one of these cotton rounds you can use paper towel whatever you want and i'm just going to wet it a little bit and just wipe wipe it off i think they turn out really nice and throughout the week they will start fading away but they will last you like for about a week and 
um, yeah, it saves me time, like not having to fill them in every time I do makeup. So I have a couple more minutes left for my face mask and I'm going to um, take that off as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this first so it doesn't like dry off. Face mask is all done. It is ready to come off. So I'm going to actually use this little silicone brush to take it off and as i'm taking off the mask i'm going to exfoliate my face and it will literally make my face so smooth and i love it my face is feeling super dry and ready for some moisturizing and i'm super excited because i'm actually going to be using some new skincare products so this brand 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 vera oh they come in a glass jar so i don't want to drop anything but they sent me some of their some of their serums we have vitamin c serum blemish gel and some neocinamide serum so we're going to be using all three on my face today and see if i like them first i'm going to use this blemish gel and it says to apply all over your face or the breakout area so i guess i'm going to apply Right here where I have my little pimple, a little bit here. It's mainly my chin, really needs some. I'm just going to go over with my moisturizer. This is what I use every morning and every night. Um, my skin is super dry especially now during winter it's like extra dry so i need to moisturize my face otherwise it feels like so tight and dry i am all done with my skincare routine and now i'm going to head downstairs and start doing my nails and i'll show you guys how i do them good morning everyone i am currently sitting in my car in the parking lot because um, I told you guys my glucose test was coming up and I'm actually getting that done now I'm just waiting in the car for my next blood drawn I already did the first uh, part of the test so it actually turns out that I was um, prescribed the two-hour glucose test which I had no idea I thought I was here for the one-hour test which you know that's what I have done in the past so I was a little confused why I had to do the two-hour test I did call my OB to find out what was going on and basically the only reason I'm here for the two-hour test is because that's the only test they do in their office um, I had if little backstory I had to switch OBs this time around because my last OB retired and I had to find a new practice so this practice that I'm currently with they only do a two-hour glucose test the reason why they do that is to avoid me having to come again if I were to fail my one hour test. So I guess it's a good thing at the end because if I were to fail my one hour test, I would have to come back for the three hour test. So I'm just doing the two hour test, getting it done. I honestly thought I'm gonna be here for an hour, but turns out I'm actually stuck here for two hours. Luckily, they let me stay in my car, so I brought my Bible. I'm gonna get my Bible reading for the day and just hang out in the car for a bit. All right, so I'm back home now. I am quickly getting ready because I need to head out the door to the parent-teacher conference. So I'm just like quickly putting on some makeup. Ever since I got home from my glucose test, it has just been busy, busy. And I am just now sitting down to even take a breath. Um, but yeah, I got home from the glucose test, had some breakfast, and then the kids wanted to go outside, so I got them all dressed, and we head outside. Then I had to go pick up Vincent from school. We got home from school. I went on a walk with the kids and just got back home, quickly cleaned up, and getting ready to head out the door again. So super busy day for me today anyways i know i started off this vlog as a self-care vlog and i still get to do my nails you guys but it has just been so busy and i'm sorry if this vlog is like all over the place it's just real life for you guys that is how my days are sometimes they're just like 
crazy busy and I literally need to head out the door so I'm going to just put on a little bit of mascara and I really have to go but um, the kids are actually having quiet time right now literally I feel like the only time I can vlog nowadays are when my kids are having quiet time because when they're awake I'm always like with them doing stuff so um yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready and then um i have to head out the door but i will try to continue vlogging after i get back i am back home now and i am so hungry i haven't had a chance to even have a lunch today and i'm so so hungry so i'm gonna go ahead and make myself a quick little salad it's actually almost dinner time um i'll be starting dinner soon but I haven't even had a chance to have some lunch so I'm just quickly going to make a quick simple salad for myself um, just to get something in my stomach and then um, I'll be prepping for dinner but that the day is starting to slow down and I got a lot I feel like I got a lot of things done today which is good I just finished making my salad and I'm going to be adding uh, my favorite salad dressing you guys this is the um skinny girl balsamic vinaigrette dressing it is so good i'm going to sprinkle some on top and that is it that's going to be my quick easy late lunch so i just came up to adeline's room because um i want to change out her crib sheet um, we recently changed her crib into this uh, little toddler bed. It is so cute, you guys, and she absolutely loves it. She loves like getting in and out by herself. Um, we only had it for about I want to say like two days, three three days. Um, so it's very new. It's still new to her, and she absolutely loves being in there. Um, but I did buy her a new crib sheet that I showed you guys um, in my Amazon haul and it's so cute I just um, washed it so I want to change out her crib sheet and just this, clean up her area a little bit are you gonna help mommy um, okay. yeah take everything off your bed this? yes your pillow too and your bunny yep yeah. And your other bunny. Alright. Adeline. Perfect. And Adeline. Put this in the laundry. So cute, Adeline. Okay, look how nice. Go in, Adeline. <laughs> I'm we got the new crib sheet on, and Adeline's already testing it out. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like the flowers on it? Yeah, it's so cute. Fluffy. Fluffy? Yeah. So now that that's done, I'm going to head downstairs and start working on dinner. My husband should be coming home soon, so I have to start prepping and getting dinner done. And maybe I'll show you guys what I will be making today. Okay. All right, guys. So we are getting started on dinner. For dinner today, we're going to be having some chicken drumsticks which i have them in here they have been marinating um in this bowl for a couple hours now so i'm going to lay them out on this baking sheet and i'm gonna start have them start baking while they're baking i'm gonna go ahead and peel the potatoes we're going to have a side of mashed potatoes and also a side of green beans so that is going to be our quick easy dinner every time i work with like chicken or any meat i always like to wear gloves so Go i'm gonna on. go ahead and do that do you want a glove yeah I'm i have a little helper in the kitchen adeline always likes to help whenever i'm making food okay, there you go perfect all right so we're gonna put chicken on this pan like this is potato. Yeah. Do you know what potato is called in Russian? Potato. Huh? Potato. Potato. No, it's called bulba. 
Bulba. Bulba. Before we dig in, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how everything turned out. We got the mashed potatoes in here. We got the drumsticks and green beans. Adeline is ready. The boys are going upstairs to wash hands. We got daddy here and we're ready to dig in. Good morning everyone. Welcome back. So today is Sunday and I am sitting down to quickly get ready for the day. We were actually supposed to go to church this morning but our church got canceled because we woke up to the hugest snowfall and our church ended up being canceled. So we are just having like a slow Sunday morning. We just had breakfast and the boys are outside shoveling the snow but I thought I would just sit down and quickly get ready for the day. Um, we are planning to just stay home today and just having like a chill Sunday I guess. As I told you guys we were supposed to go on a dinner date last night and that ended up being canceled as well because we are in the middle of like a snowstorm so we just decided to cancel and stay home we just had like a nice little dinner date at home which was also really really nice and we're probably going to reschedule and go out some other time probably next weekend um but yeah that is a little update i still wanted to get ready for the day because i do want to continue on vlogging today and just bring you guys along even though we don't have anything planned for today it's just going to be like a chill sunday but um since i am on the roll with the vlogs i thought i would continue on vlogging and share the day with you guys so i hope everyone is having a great sunday i'll bring you guys along and share whatever we end up doing at home um and yeah so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit i finally have some time to sit down and do my nails as i promised you guys i would show you how i do my nails at home super easy super simple um but this is just how i do my nails whenever i want them to be done here are the nails that i will be putting on today you do not need no glue with these they already come with the adhesive on the nail which is so easy and it just makes everything mess free quick and easy to put on so really love them the first step to uh, putting on the press on nails you need to do your own nails so what you're gonna need is just like a nail file to file down your nails nail buffer to um buff down the nails and then i do have this little nail kit that i got from amazon and it just has like everything that i might need for uh to like trim my nails cut my cuticles and all of that stuff so super simple um i don't go too crazy i just do bare minimum and that's that so i'm gonna do that and then i'll show you guys how i press on the nails all right guys so i just finished prepping my nails for the press ons and i also lined them all up they do come numbered which makes it easier to find the same exact nail and you do just want to like play around and see which nail fits your natural nail the best so i have them all of them lined up and i'm ready to start pressing them on but before i do that i'm going to use this little alcohol wipe that comes in the package and wipe down my natural nails so i have adeline next to me she's doing her um activity book ready to start applying my nails i always like to start with my thumb and what you want to do is take off the sticker and just go under your cuticle Just slightly go under your cuticle, press it down, and hold it for like 30 seconds. And that is it. First nail is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. Here's a closer look to what the nails look like up close. I think it turned out really, really cute, and I love the color of this nail. It looks so natural. And the shape here's the other hand this is what they look like and honestly it takes me like at this point like 10 minutes to do these nails because I've done it so many times and they will last me for about two weeks if I take good care of them 
and also one package will last me for two applications so i think it's worth it um it's super cheap and easy to do so let me know if you guys try it out i am making some late dinner for the kids they're going to be having um some kasha it's basically just oatmeal with milk um they usually have this for like late dinner or for breakfast in the morning and um i just add basically a little bit of water oatmeal and then milk top i'm just going to add a little bit of maple syrup to make it nice and sweet for them and then they also like to have a little bit of fruits on top so vincent likes to have um some banana so i'll chop up some banana for him and then charlie likes to have some strawberries which i already cut some for him and then adeline doesn't yeah. like anything so we're just going to leave hers nice and simple and that's it we're brushing our teeth getting ready for that time you forgot to press your light mm -hmm. do you want to show everyone how you press your light show how your toothbrush lights up so I got these new toothbrushes for them at Target and they light up for one minute and that's how long they need to brush their teeth for. Just like you. Okay, rinse. Yeah, I'm so Ready? Wash, wash, wash. Okay, wash your face too. Good job. Wash it one more time. Good job. Thank you guys. Okay, Charlie's turn. Daddy, maybe the order should be um Where did Adeline go? <gasps> there she is. She's picking out her pajama. Which one? This one? Okay. Bye. Say good night. Good night, vlog. Good night. I hope you have a good night. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> I make everything move. Yeah? Did you put on chapstick? Oh, yeah. Go tell Daddy put on chapstick <laughs> and on the bottom lip too, okay? All right, guys, so the kids are finally down for their bedtime, and I'm going to go ahead finish up this vlog hope you guys enjoyed it it's probably going to be a long one i have been vlogging for the past couple days so i'm just going to combine it all and just make a nice big vlog for you guys but if you have not yet subscribed to my vlogging channel subscribe down below it is free and yeah i will probably start prepping for this baby in my next um starting in my next vlog it should be exciting so follow along and i will see you guys all in my next vlog bye